I'm here with the GeneralSports.com Athlete of the Week, Tommy Thepford of the men's swimming team. Tommy, over the course of this past weekend at the ODAC Championship, you won seven events, set seven ODAC and ODAC meet records, broke four WNO records, registered five NCAA B cut times, and one NCAA cut time. Out of all those accolades and races, what will you remember most about this weekend? I would say certainly it would be the 50-yard freestyle Friday night at finals. Just because uh, that morning I went a best time of 19.70, which was an A cut. And that night I ended up going 1972. And I say that it's going to be most memorable because my cap and goggles came off, so it was kind of uh, frustrating to see myself, you know, I mean, but even be that close to my prelims time of 197 is amazing. And to get an A cut, which was really a goal that I had set at the beginning of the season, is uh, truly um, gratifying. And, uh, you know, because only a couple D3 swimmers every year will manage to get an A cut before the championships. So that's really exciting, you know, moving forward into NCAAs, just to walk in with an A cut and uh, just be prepared to really crush it. The Generals won the ODAC championship and you were named the Conference Swimmer of the Year. What did that mean to you to receive that honor? I mean, it obviously means a lot. You know, to win to win that award, you, can, you know, there's so many of us in the ODAC that are, you know, working very hard both in and outside of the pool. You know, we're focused on our academics, we're focused on our athletics, and uh, be selected by the ODAC as the um, Conference Swimmer of the Year is truly a great honor. Finally, now it's a little over a month until the NCAA championship. What will you do between now and then to prepare for it? So we have uh, about four weeks, right, right about a month until the NCAA championship. So. This first week will probably be spent, maybe this week, week and a half will be spent um, bringing up our yardage, you know, hard workouts, uh, but really focusing on finesse as well. And then after this week or week and a half, you know, ramp up of our yardage, we'll come back down in yardage, start getting rest, start eating healthy, you know, doing all the things we need to do both in and out of the pool to prepare for success at NCAAs. Okay, thanks, Tommy. Yep.